So we all want to organize our pantries. How about saving money and calories, not having empty calories? Well, we have these dreams. You look at all these celebrities. Kim Kardashian, she's got a beautiful pantry. She hires all these next-level professionals to organize her gigantic pantry. But most of us don't have that luxury, that space, or that budget. So we brought in a dietitian, Kim Hagen, booked to uh, have what to buy so we don't waste space or have those, you know, too much calories. So, hi, how are hi. you? Good, how are you? What's step one? Yeah, so... First, I wanted to ask, do you know what's in the back of your pantry? And then I have all the stuff I don't use, like the flour and stuff on the bottom. It sounds pretty organized. So we can help other people get organized for spring cleaning. So step one would be to spring clean. You have to know what's in there. So taking out and taking inventory of what you have. So you can take out the expired foods and also wipe everything down so it's nice and fresh and ready to go. If it sounds like it's too daunting, you may want to set a timer for 20 minutes because that's helpful so you can get rid of everything that needs to go. And if you have things that you want to remove, you can either donate it or, of course, if they're expired, throw it out. All right, so that you brought in oatmeal and pasta. These are staples. We should all have these things, oatmeal, pasta, and, ra and uh, rice. Yep, so step two is get the good stuff back in. So well, having staple items that are healthy, like whole grain pastas, you have brown rice. There's a lot of viral recipes that you can make with oats these days, so having those items available is helpful. To me, a pantry is having the core staples in there, plus supplementing with fresh fruits and vegetables. So anything that we can use for making a meal and a snack with fresh protein and meats in addition to have. So uh, other staples are gonna be your colorful things like plant-based proteins. You have pr um, beans and lentils up here, peas. You also have peanut butter. These so, are helpful. I'll pause right here, it's really helpful. So we had you know Easter dinner, so we had a ham, and so the ham bone, so then I had the extra ham. So I love when you have like split peas um, in your pantry, and then you have the chicken broth in your pantry, and all of a sudden I whipped up a really nutritious, healthy, meal from literally just the stuff that was in my house. Exactly. So similar to that is over here. Wait, before you go down, so that's what you're saying here in step two is our canned goods and it's going to be your beans and lentils, things that you can make lots of healthy, nutritious meals. Exactly. And yes. that's easy to stack and easy to organize. Uh -huh. <laughs> One end up with the other. These are stackable containers that you might want to use to help organize your container as well as these little containers that you could put in drawers or... Your no, cabinet. this is great. You, this is with all of your beans. Now, I usually do this with the chili, but this is like a great summer salad. What do we do here? Yeah. So with your pantry items, we're going to have beans and corn and any kind of vegetable, like green beans would go well as well. And you mix them together with a little bit of fresh things like fresh peppers and you have a salsa. So you can put that, serve it with chips or you can serve it with um, tacos. That would be really great. All right, so we all know herbs. You can buy those ones, the ones that you use all the time. That's always mm -hmm. good to have. Now, you're telling me what, what's my step three over here? Step three is we have to make the meals. So I love your example that you did. You pull out your pantry staples, and you just create a little meal. So we can make a soup like you were talking about with your leftover items or maybe a salsa and create healthy meals and snacks so you're not eating out and having a lot of cost expense for that. And your pasta is always a go-to for that. We did that on Monday night, so I've already got, or Sunday night, I guess we've gotten through two meals. Yes. So um, now what are you saying skip? We want to skip anything that's going to be a little bit more expensive. So your convenient size items are definitely going to be about a 40% markup. So we have like individual snack bags for the kids' lunch boxes. You can just buy the larger bag and then portion them in. Um, all the time, these convenience like rice mixes. I love these. You're not going to get me to get rid of these. these are, to me, they're kid size so I can just like the, cook one of them up because they come in at different times from sports uh -huh. and then I dump the stuff on top of it so I love these ones right here but right. I can understand what you're saying about saving money but right. that saves me time and effort which right. is almost like money. So you do have to value your time versus their dollars so this would be a little lesser but the thing with these two is they usually have added sodium yeah. so about 200 milligrams of salt in one of these versus zero. Great stuff Kim, really yeah. appreciate it this is wonderful thank you for helping us to organize our pantries. Thank you. Um,